I'm here in Eastcote where we have this beautiful garden that's been created in the 15th and 16th centuries. Um, it's been adapted over the years and nowadays it's used um, as an area for people to come and visit. It's owned by Hillingdon Council and uh, they've divided it up into four beds. So beautiful area where you've got culinary herbs, you've got um, cosmetic herbs, household herbs and medicinal herbs. So here we have the uh, culinary herbs section and like um, adding flavour but also they have medicinal benefits because they're rich in quercetin which is an anti um, hay fever kind of uh, chemical and we have things here like rosemary you can make a lovely hair rinse out of that uh, but also in food it's used as a antimicrobial thing so before refrigeration people used to add all these aromatic herbs to their food so that they would not go off and cause sort of um, food poisoning so this is a wonderful culinary herb bed <music> So here we have the household herbs bed and here again we have rosemary, we have this lovely cotton lavender which is useful for um, putting into uh, cupboards and wardrobes so that it prevents moths. We also have orris root which is used as a fixative in perfumes and we have uh, lovely hops as well. So the gents of the, the family would be growing their own, uh, brewing their own beer as well. So there's some hops there. Feverfew is a fantastic remedy for migraines and also other types of pain like joint pain. It's a beautiful golden green colour and it was traditionally used in this way. It's still used by modern herbalists as a medicinal remedy in combination with other herbs. In this medicinal bed, we have some examples of herbs that were used traditionally in medicine, like digitalis, uh, which is foxglove, and that was used as a heart medicine. Um, it's not used nowadays as much. Um, it's actually very difficult to monitor the dosage and, and it can be toxic, so it's not used now, but it's a traditional one. We also have pulmonaria, um, uh, which is lungwort, and if you have a look at the leaves there, they have beautiful white speckles on them. The reason for that is the doctrine of signatures tells us that herbs actually uh, and all plants actually give us um, clues as to what they're useful for. And these look like diseased lungs, little white patches on the lungs. So that's why we use it for herbal medicine. Traditionally, uh, people followed those kinds of things, but now we've found through research that they do contain chemicals that actually work on lungs. So we'll use it for pneumonia, asthma, COPD, things like that. So peony is a fantastic herb used in herbal medicine for women's complaints. It helps to balance hormones and it's used in combination with licorice to help combat PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. It's a common condition nowadays and this fantastic herb is really useful in uh, bringing down the levels of sugar and balancing hormones. So here we 
we have the cosmetics herb bed and uh, some beautiful plants that can be used for self-care. Uh, we have lovely wild strawberry. Strawberries can be used to whiten your teeth. So just kind of rub them along your teeth and after eating and, and they will whiten your teeth. We have Roman chamomile, uh, which was originally used as a lawn uh, because it gives off a lovely fragrance. It's also used for sleep remedies, but as a cosmetic, we can use it as a hair rinse, particularly good for blonde hair to bring out the vibrancy and shine of blonde hair. We can also make a rinse out of rosemary and that's really good for stimulating hair growth. So it will actually uh, encourage more hair to grow and it will make it shiny. Very good for people with darker hair. Um, and we have marigolds. Marigolds are well known for being a beautiful skin herb. They're rich in resins that lock in moisture, nourish the skin and uh, protect it. They heal as well. We call that a vulnerary action and uh, they're beautiful to look at as well. In fact, my tutor used to tell me that to look into a calendula marigold flower could even take away depression.